let's go ahead and make some sugar paste. I'm using three ingredients. The first is some white granulated sugar. Then we also have some water and um, some meringue powder. And so this meringue powder is a brand called CK Products Meringue Powder. And this is very important. Um, it's what you might want to call an industrial strength meringue powder. And it's not the typical uh, meringue that you would get at a grocery store. So you want to use this exact brand or grade of meringue to ensure that your skulls harden up correctly. So if you use the meringue that you could get at a grocery store, your sugar skull blanks will likely not harden up correctly and will probably just be sandy and crumbly. So um, very important and a, a reliable source of the CK uh, products meringue powder is a website called MexicanSugarSkull.com just for your information. So I'm making a relatively small batch of sugar paste. I have three cups of sugar here um, because I want to make six of these half cup sugar skull blanks. So let's start mixing up our ingredients. Um, to my three cups of sugar, I'm going to add um, three teaspoons of the meringue powder. Two and three, there we go. And um, you'll notice that uh, there is a formula to the mixture. So for every uh, one cup of sugar, you want to use one teaspoon of the meringue powder. So I'm just mixing up my dry ingredients here, um, making sure that I get the meringue powder evenly distributed throughout the sugar. All right, that looks like we've got it. And also make sure that if you have any uh, lumps of sugar in there that you kind of work them out. All right. So to my three cups of sugar, my three teaspoons of meringue, I'm then going to go ahead and add some water. And I'm going to add three teaspoons of water. There we go. One, two, three. There we go. And so again, you may notice there's a uh, formula to the mixture. For every one cup of sugar, you want to use one teaspoon of meringue and one teaspoon of water. So it's a one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of meringue, to one teaspoon of water. And so because I'm starting with three cups of sugar here, I added three teaspoons of meringue and three teaspoons of water. And so I'm just mixing with the spoon at first to get kind of the initial mixture going, but then I'm just gonna just switch to move using my hands. And this is where your sense of touch becomes really important because um, as you're working the uh, moisture through the sugar paste here, you, what you're looking for is a feeling like um, a moist, cool beach sand. And um, you want to uh, just keep working the moisture through there, keep um, feeling for the right consistency. And that right consistency is, I'm going to show you in just a sec, we're going to do a squeeze test on it to make sure that um, our sugar paste has the right amount of water in it to um, get it to hold together and harden up uh, correctly in in um, the molds there I'm just I just feel a few more lumps of uh, of um, moisture in there so I just want to work that all out there and it actually feels really nice <laughs> all right there we go so the squeeze test so just grab a bunch of the the sugar paste in your in your palm there and open your hand up and you see how this is holding together that's that's the consistency that we want if you know you opened your hand and it just fell open like this that that would mean that you don't have enough um, moisture in 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 the sugar paste and you'd want to add a little bit more water to it but um you do not so much water that it becomes uh too moist and in which case once you um, uh, get it into your mold. It may not un, un, unmold correctly, or even if it does, it may not harden up correctly uh, during the drying out process. So I think we've come up with quite a nice and stable sugar paste there ready uh, to be molded into our sugar skull blanks.